Hello guys, I hope you looked at the video uh, which talked about how to maximize your score in the quant section. In this video, we are going to discuss how to maximize your score for your verbal ability and your DILR section. Verbal ability is obviously the easier among the three sections in my opinion just because of the fact that it is a first section right it the paper can be tough i'm not going to make that statement but why i'm saying it is easier is because you don't carry in any uh, emotions from your previous section it is directly you are walking in you are writing this verbal section so so having a clear mind is super useful super helpful so so make the most out of it right what makes people falter in the verbal section usually people think of i need to get 16 answers to get 95th percentile 99th percentile some number right throw in some number i need to get 11 answers to get 97th percentile so they do all of these mental calculations and then walk into a trap you might walk in expecting x number of questions to give you y percentile right it might be way off the mark based on the difficulty level of this year's paper which can or cannot resemble last year's difficulty level if it is way tougher, very less number of questions can give you great percentile. If it is way easier, you need so many more number of questions to get that exact percentile. Which means there is no guarantee that X number of questions based on last year's criteria will give you thereabouts of Y percentile. There is no guarantee. Right? We, we'll, we can only have an estimate after the exam gets over. Even that is only an estimate. right? So, so remember that very clearly. Don't walk in with a number in your head. Don't walk in saying, I need to answer X number of questions. That is the most important pitfall, especially for the verbal section. Right? If you are reading slow, if you are someone who does not have a very good handle on VARC, right? it is still fine. You can manage this section. How, how, how to go about it? Right? Let's say you are naturally capable, several factors, right? how much you have prepared, uh, what is your capability, uh, and what is your temperament and how difficult is a question paper. These four factors put together, let's say in this exam, you can get eight questions right and get, let's say, 95th percentile for eight questions, right? Some random numbers I'm throwing out for illustrating an example, right? You can either choose to get all eight right, which is the maximum of your capability by reading questions slowly, understanding them properly, not making any silly mistakes and getting all eight of them right. You could have wanted to get 12, right? But Based on all of these factors, what if you are able to do only 8, right? You The outcomes can only be 2. You can either get 8 right or you will get 5 or 6 right and 2 or 3 wrong, right? If you push for more. So, what is the point in pushing if your scores are going to go down, right? It is not useful at all. So, remember to maximize by saying, okay, this is the speed I can work with. Let me work with this speed, right? People talk about words per minute, lot of different things. Don't care about any of that. If you take two times to read and comprehend the RC, but answer everything in one go, go for it. If you are someone who takes one time to read and then read the questions and then go back and read the passage, find the answers and then plug it in, go for it. What works for you is the best solution out there. I cannot tell you one mantra that will work and get you to 99 percentile. Nobody can tell you that. If somebody tells you that, run away. Right? So this is how you can maximize your score for the verbal section. For the DLR section, right, you should remember, don't carry in your emotions from the verbal section into the DLR section. It is super important. Even more important to not be uh, depressed by the DLR section and go into the con section feeling completely washed out. Right? So don't, there are three one hour or three 40 minute exams back to back, watertight exams. So consider them, treat them as three separate exams and not like one big exam because it the, having this distinction in your mind sometimes really helps you cut that off. So, so use that. Right now, how do you maximize your score in the DLR section? There is only one important thing in DLR section. More than solving is picking the right questions. Right. So make sure you pick the right questions. There is no downside to skipping a good question. There is a lot of downside to trying and holding on to a wrong question. So uh, there is a blog article. Maybe we'll put it here, put it there somewhere. Definitely check that video, check that blog article. It takes CAT 2018 paper, I guess. And look at the 2018 paper. I would have taken you through my entire thought process, who I am as a student, what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses, and why and how am I picking puzzles. So remember to, or definitely watch that, take your time, go through the entire 2018 paper, some one slot, and look at the video and collaborate. 
see what works for you what does not work out for you and figure out a way of it is not a waste of time let's say two minutes three minutes that you spend at the beginning of the paper and figuring out which question to write but it is absolutely beautiful brilliant investment that not everybody makes that can amp up your score like nobody's business right so best wishes for cat do well all the best from all of us at 2 i am right rocket <laughs>